Well, well. If it isn't the Intercontinental Champion. I remember my first IC title, but barely. Because I've had so many. <laughs> Losing your memory in your old age, huh? So sad. <laughs> wow. Locke's got jokes. And I was just about to teach you everything I know about being the Intercontinental Champ. Enlighten me. To be a true Intercontinental Champion requires a truly Intercontinental skill set, with mastery of styles from all over the world. And your Intercontinental specialty is... British? Japanese? Lucha? Cleveland? No, no, no. I am the greatest French-style wrestler of all time, of course. A style defined by the element of surprise, or as the French say, surprise, with a zzz, which they stole from me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you say? <sighs> sure. But I've got more important business first. I've already got a cage match title defense lined up. Well, bon chance, as the French would say. Break a leg, or two. An impressive win over Madcap Moss. Here comes the Miz with a shot to the back. What the heck is he doing out here? And now the Miz is asking for the cage to be lowered down. This is absolute mayhem. The champion just survived a cage match, and now he's dealing with this? The champ's doing his best to battle back, but Miz has played the element of surprise to perfection. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Low blow from the Miz. The most unpredictable man Sports entertainment has struck again. And again, and again, and again. Talk about a long night for the Intercontinental Champion. This is brutal. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 285 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wolfman Ryan Taylor. What title do you see next for the Intercontinental Champ, Corey? Patience, Saxton, ah! which is something you need as well as the lock if he wants to add to his title collection.
The Lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? A record-setting competitor. There are already plenty of accolades and a very bright future. And his partner from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Aaliyah! She is the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalia in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. It's Miz and Mrs. Stop with these Saturday morning cartoons, Saxton. It's called coming up with a game plan, a plan that can pay big dividends. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a North of the Border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second guess Miz, Saxton. Not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. Bringing the focus to the temple, hoping to disorient. Oh, knee drop. Able to get out of the way. 
away. Resourcefulness. Able to get out of the way. Ah, there's the backbreaker. And the neckbreaker. Vintage Miz. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. That was brutal. And now the blood is flowing from the lock's face. Oh, impact to the stomach. Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Loving close. In full control of their opponent with more in mind. Discus punch. Dropping the elbow. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. The Locke isn't holding anything back. He got whipped into that. The Miz caught off guard. Looking for the victim. She pops the shoulder up and one. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Shoots the half. with a shot right oh, that's the close line turn around big combination here what a move oh and a kick out how did she do that big running leg drop that'll turn your lights out Aliyah gets met with a response She's in for it now. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Aaliyah making it loud and clear for her opponent here. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Fred's press takes him down. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Now, Debilitating forearm strikes. Maurice fires back. Uh oh. Aaliyah quickly moves. Wow, oh, look at that slam. It's always disoriented. The jumping DDT. And that could keep Maurice down. Just hot shot it. team just captured a significant victory. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing.
Congratulations on nothing. That win was completely meaningless. What matters is that I still have an icy title shot. Care to make it French rules? Here we go. What does that even mean? It's the highest form of unpredictable, surprise-based sports entertainment. A proper cage match with escape-only rules. Are you intercontinental enough to handle it? Call it whatever you want, miss. It's clearly just a pathetic attempt to find an advantage that you will desperately need. Bad news, though? I'm keeping this intercontinental title no matter what fake French surprise you have planned. Bad news? No way! I'm clearly in your head, which is the best news. Say au revoir to your championship. to be top dog. It's the lock. The Intercontinental Champion hasn't made too many entrances in his WWE career, but he seems to be getting the hang of it. He seems to be getting the hang of a lot of things, like winning. Let's see if he can keep the train rolling here tonight. As far as title defenses go, this is about as big as it gets. He needs to be on his game tonight. An A-lister of sports entertainment. Well, the one thing we do know about The Miz is that he is living his childhood dream, being a WWE superstar, and he has redefined what it means to be a WWE superstar. Finally, put a little respect on his name, Saxton. Miz is a reality TV icon, a movie star, Grand Slam champion two times over, WrestleMania headliner. Oh, and he's the it couple with Maurice. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! And 
and his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wolfman Brian Taylor. Who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the dramatic conclusion of the head-spinning saga between the defending Intercontinental Champion and The Miz. That's right, Michael. The Lock will defend his Intercontinental title against The Miz in a French Rules cage match where the first competitor to escape the cage will walk away with the IC title. Sit back, butter your baguettes, and enjoy two of the best in the business with the premium in premium live event. of this moment is coursing through his veins. Oh, got caught. Outright presentation of power there. Lock launching attacks left and right. Miz needs to rely on his resourcefulness. The challenger eating up some damage. Close oh, eyes. Oh, good lord. So effective. Watch this display of power. Oh, sit up, Powerball. All the way up, and the cross landing. Powerball. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. He knew that was coming. Oh, wait a second. the complete mercy of his opponent. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. German suplex. But that's not all. In a we're gonna see it. Garbage power bomb. I think the champ's got it. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. He's looking down on the cage from the top. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. The longer he's up there, the more fear starts to seep into the mind. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still... Intercontinental Champion, Wolfman Ryan Taylor. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. 
We want the LOC to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live event's in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I think people have seen me face Sammy and Ridge enough. Time for a fresh matchup. Give me theory. For your sake, I hope your theory is correct. I'll see myself out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. The following is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory.
and his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wolfman Ryan Taylor.
So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought Facing Theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Ridge. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished?
A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already. But I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days. Unlike me. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you? You're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me, I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? <laughs> you sold me. I'm ready to join the Hurt Business. All right, let's go. Now, like I said, you have all the tools and you're ready for prime time. But I think with some extra work, I can get you to a whole other level. Just like I helped Bobby Lashley become the Almighty. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sounds good. See you then.
Joining Hurt Business feels like a major milestone in my career. Holding the Intercontinental Championship has been huge, but this seems like it could be the start of something bigger. You think this will be any different, though, than the previous Hurt Business that ultimately fell apart? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know MVP's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I feel like he wants to do this the right way this time around. And that means delivering on all the promises he's made of making me the top guy. Any clue who else will be joining this new Hurt business? MVP said he's still looking for the ideal third member to complement my skills. I guess we'll find out who that is soon enough. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. We heard rumors that MVP was reforming the Hurt business. This must be it. But who else is in the limo? It's the lock. What a crew MVP has assembled. MVP might have done the legwork, but it looks like the lock is calling the shots as the new CEO. The Hurt Business is back and stronger than ever. <laughs> 